those Jews who were scattered in 70 AD with the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem and to those Jews descended from the house of Scott, uh, Scota, Scotland. And so, point two is that we must submit to the customs as far as we can to those who we meet. Being respectful, being polite. So, step or point two is another key to winning the favor of someone. Word, law, the word law in this place must be limited to the ceremonial law. Although we are no longer under the ceremonial law because Christ fulfilled the ceremonial law we are under the moral and civil law still so when Paul when it comes to the law here to witness to the Jews he submits to the ceremonial law as far as he can. Now that doesn't necessarily mean to go as far as, you know, offering sacrifices of blood and bulls and goats like they were doing during that time because of the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple hadn't took place yet. 2014, God is calling us in 2014 to follow these points and to go out and to win the favor win the favor of people out there to win their soul mind, body and soul through the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit putting into practice these points that I will be addressed laying down in this message as much as a lot of people don't like this term we are called to be you know Uh, sheep in wolves clothing in the world to be spies and when I'm and this is the steps on evangelism in here in this passage and we're not to just do our usual presenting a formal presentation of the gospel but we're called to do more and then later on, the presentation of the gospel. And first of all, you got to make friends with somebody. When you <clears throat> go to the person's house, you got to respect the customs of the house and so forth 
and to be helpful and to be a servant to them. The first two points of the steps to take to win the favor of one of God's lost sheep to bring them back to the flock. Point three. When it comes to all souls belong to God. But when it comes to the Gentiles, Paul says, when it comes to the Gentiles, it says, when I'm with people who are not ruled by the law, I forget about the law to win them. Of course, I never really forget about the law of God. In fact, I'm ruled by the law of God, God's moral and civil law. So he's showing us and Point three, uh, to reach the Gentiles, those descended from the sixth day creation. When it comes to reaching people, we mustn't be arrogant, a prude, so to speak, or a uh, Pharisee and Sadducee type of person when it comes to reaching people. We must have never compromised God's moral and civil law, but at the same time we need to show mercy as well as truth. show grace in order to win the favor of one of God's lost sheep to bring them back to the fold. That means showing true tolerance, making friends with people who whose morals and ethics may not necessarily line up with your morals and ethics, but at the same time, making friends with them, showing true tolerance, but at the same time,